Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? How's everyone? I hope that you woke up feeling better than you did yesterday. And if you don't know that today is a better day, don't forget to thank God before you step your foot on the floor or anything else. Before you brush your teeth, before you do anything. Thank God for this day. So, let's get this shit popping, baby. Yeah. First of all, let's send out a shout out to my lovely, lovely Jennifer from Familiar Witch Tarot. Did you get that? Pisces, go to her. Show her love from Pisces Studio, okay? And I thank all the people that are following her to come to me. Thank you all. We are one. And let's pray that she, be, she gets better each and every day. Each and every day, I want you to pray. Put her in your prayers, please. Also, put me in your prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I do want to say that um, life is beautiful, and don't let nothing knock you off of your joy. Nothing can do that. Nothing. All right? Let's go into my website, okay? This is all my products. This is all my candles are made by me. Okay, so um, this is the Black Magic uh, Spellbreaker candle. All right, and this is the Health and Prosperity candle in abundance. And this comes in pink, not in red. This is the Love candle, but I made it red for me for Love Yourself candle. I am burning a white candle. I told y'all that I was burning red candle. And it was coming out dark and black and all this shit. And that's the love candle. So let me tell you something. It's not here there with me. I ain't stressing and tripping over no love shit. If it ain't there, it ain't there. I'm good to go. I'm in love with me. And that's the, that's what matters, okay? And know that. It ain't, I ain't mad about a motherfucking thing, Okay? So, um, this is my oils come in dry form. This is to cleanse your house. This is my sage. This is um, Palo Santo that come with that sage. The water bath is a must to have. My salt is out of cave. Um, also, I have herb baths. Um, this is the tiger eye. These are bracelets that I make. All right. That I wear too around my ankle. Um, and I also have crystals, okay. And this is my favorite. This is the one that collects all your energy. And this is something like it, but this is the shit. And I bought this straight up. They gave me this. Came straight from Hawaii. Alright. So I like to always put it up there. So by the way, anyone um that does tarot. Always remember to put a cup of water around your um, altar, wherever you do tarot, so that it can collect all this energy around you. And then the next day, throw that out and start over. You need to do that because you don't know who's watching you and who wants the best for you and who's negative. When people leave negative comments, you already know there's something wrong with them. Who has the time to sit there if they don't like what you say to put some negative shit up there. That's how immature and childish some people are. Okay, so um, I'm letting you know as soon as I see it, I get with it. Okay, and I don't mind blocking somebody's ass. I'm good for blocking your ass. But I do have a number down there. If anybody ever feel like they got something negative to say to me, don't be a coward and get your ass and call me and say what you got to say. I give you more respect for doing it that way, okay? Than to play games. I don't play games, all right? Okay, so let's get going. Let's find out what uh, Art Michael Jordan Art, and I ask God to step in. And also, I say remove my energy from your reading. Okay, so here we go. Today, I get to go on the beach and walk the beach. And I got a surprise for you while I'm at the beach. But you will see it then, okay? Thank you. All right, now. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, I feel a relief. 
I'm happy. Bonfire. It's, it is through remember, see, that you will wake the ritual of your ascending and be reborn in the mighty celebration. Okay? And this is this is what you call um um the phoenix rising from the ashes, honey. Yes, rise from the ashes. Let's get into the book and see more about what this oh it, and it's funny because it went right to it. I ain't even have to look for it. So this must be for us to really hear what it has to say. In ancestry day, all fire will be in the sentence and a um greater community fire created to represent the sun power that means it's the yes card okay um the bonfire serves as a memory to seek growth fertility and abundance and to remember the dark days will be followed by light and all will be well again so it is also the rebirth which to me would be um the empress okay in the way the bonfire represents a remembrance of the light within your spirit a call to reclaim your inner power and that's what i'm talking about nobody should take the power from you if shit ain't right let it go because it wasn't meant to for you and i don't give a damn what it is if a shoe that you got don't fit don't feel good on your feet it ain't yours. I don't give a fuck if you pay for it. It don't fit you. Give the bitch away. If you got clothes that don't fit you, give it away. It don't fit you anymore. If you got people, exes, whatever it is, kids, mother, father, they don't fit you anymore. Jobs, let it fucking go. Start looking for better. All right? As you feel, as, as you full of inspiration and dreams, but fail to take action. Do you understand? You're full of inspiration and dreams, but you are afraid to take action. So what are you holding back on? We all have that inner power, but if if lifted, if, if left unused, this power sinks into the underground. If you don't use the power that you have, you're going to miss out on this opportunity. And that's what it's telling you. Allow your inner force to dwell can lead to undesired size efforts such as low self-esteem, lack of uh, motivation, negative feelings, or, and it's telling you, or confusion. Don't let nothing, I don't give a fuck what it is. Don't, I don't care what it is. I don't care if somebody say I cut your hours from work. If somebody say, I don't want to be with you. If somebody say, whatever it is, don't let whatever it is that they're doing to you take over you. Don't allow it. Okay? Take that feeling, ask God, to allow you to see the things you need to see and to let you see the things you need to know and to move on so that you can see things clearly for what it is and for who they are. True colors will come out. Don't let no energy stop you. Don't you understand? You've been around people and places and whatever it is in your life that always stop you from your growth. Don't get stuck in one shit that ain't worth shit. All right? If it's shit, it ain't going to be shit. If, if, if Check it out. If it smell like shit, then it is shit. If they act like shit, then it are shit. Do you understand? Don't let... Listen, one man don't stop your show. Because you never will stop anybody from living. You keep thinking that you can love somebody and you can change people. You can't change nobody but your damn self. And you need to know that. You're not going to never change nobody. Okay? And if somebody don't want to be with you, then let them fucking go. I don't give a fuck. Shit, it's, it's more... I, I'll be really good because I'm saving on everything. On my money, on my gas, on food, on my energy... On my breathing, on it, fucking everything. Do you know that when you were people, you change a lot of things about you? It's some things that I changed to make sure that whatever situation I was in, I made sure that they was comfortable. Um, change comes in, um, whatever day that they come in, things change for that day. 
Okay, so I don't know how sometimes people feel like you cramping them. They cramp you too. What the fuck? It's a give and take. And if they feel like you cramping them, let the motherfucker go out the door. And don't ever lock your door. Leave the motherfucker open so people can get the fuck out and stay out. Whoever's meant to be in your life is going to stay. And if they're not meant to be, they're going to go. And I don't give a fuck what it is. Sometimes people hold on to jobs until they get fired because they want to sit there and put up with shit that it ain't even for them. But they're going to do it until they get fired. And it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I ain't going to leave this job because I got all this time. But they ready to fire your ass. And when they fire you, they don't give a fuck. You just the number to people, jobs. People take advantage of you because you just a number to them. Believe in me. These motherfuckers got more than you. And then they want to put you. That's why they got all kinds of cups. That's why I think it's the nine of cups. I mean, the eight of cups show up. They got a lot of motherfucking cups. Okay? And they sit you where they want to sit you. So when you're not no good anymore, they sit you there and you collect dust till they ready to pick you up again. It don't go that way, honey. All that shit dies. And see, you wake up and you realize, I put too much time into a situation that ain't even worth it. It ain't worth that shit. Do you understand? Um, so let's move on. It says, bone fire brings you the gifts of remembering the force within you and guides you to act upon the desires within your heart. Do you understand? And this is a card of strength. All right. Force act. And when it comes to you, spread it. Spread it is a oh, so it's a spread. If it comes to you in a spread, it's a sign that you that your plans, idea, or dreams are likely to lead to success. Do you understand? Leave motherfuckers it. Guess what? This is the best thing. I've been saying, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Baby, baby, baby. When people move out of your life, do you know how much you get done? You get so much done. Because you are you. You're not doing the things that you fucking do when you're around a person that you don't even do. All right? Your mind is straight. You get to think. You're not late doing what you want to do. Sometimes these people force you to, to hold you back, to put everything that you got going on on the back burner. So when they around you, all your energy is about them. So your energy for you is back there somewhere. Fuck that. I learned that. So guess what? My energy for me will remain in the front. I don't care who cares and who don't care. Who wants to get rid of me and who wants to keep me? It don't even matter. Because guess what? I made up my mind that whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. I don't have to change nothing for them. I need to be me. I don't have to lay out a red carpet for somebody to be with me. I need to be me. They need to cater to me, not me to them. Shit, the fucking man's supposed to cater to a bitch. Not a bitch take care of a fucking man. What the fuck that looks like? Okay, you throw out, you give them everything. You give them food, you give them sex, you give them love. If you don't give them attention, oh my God, they world falls apart. I have no time for somebody that wants me to be like that with them. And then on top of that, tell you, you, you know, you crowding them or they need space. Well, take all the motherfucking space you need. The world is full of air. Breathe it, move the fuck on. Okay, because when you move away from me, I grow. Honey, I grow so, honey, money just fall off the air. Love comes and go. I stop shit for doing shit. I don't need to stop shit from nobody. Okay? And you need to understand. Stop stopping your growth, your happiness for somebody that comes and goes in your life. Is it worth it? Ask yourself, is it worth it? It's not worth it. You, this, this car is telling you. You full of fire. And if you let go of what you got to do for somebody else, it's going to stop your growth. And I'm witnessing. Not one time, not two times, not three times. All my life, this is what it been. Stop me and put the red carpet for somebody else. Then it ain't worth it. You just wait for the minute 
Did they say, I'm done with you again? What the fuck? I don't know. I'm done with you. This is too much. Who? I'm not, not. You don't even have a title in these motherfuckers' life. Do you understand? You all in the face. Oh, I love you and I want to be with you. And they like, who are you? Like, you you like the rest of these bitches. You like the rest. Of, that's how people are. If, if When they get done with you, this is what they do. They trash your ass. When I'm done with you, I trash you next. When I'm done with you, I trash you next. When I'm done, that's what they're doing. So you need to wake up and realize that it's so many dicks and pussy in the world. Okay? It's too many of them. They, they come a dime a dozen. But out of thousands and billions of dicks and pussy, you can count on one hand the ones that will be loyal to you. And think about it. Is it worth it? It's not. When you least suspect it, and when you ain't looking, and I go to events, I go to people's homes, I don't never look for nobody to look for me. I'm not one of them people that go to a party and see who's there that I want to get with. That ain't what I'm there for. I'm there to have me a good time, and it ain't with a person. Whoever invites me there, that's how I see it, okay? I do not go to a party to meet a person. You go to a party to meet a person, you're going to meet the wrong motherfuckers. You're going to meet somebody that drinks, get high, and likes to party, like to run the street, and like to be at parties looking for other bitches, okay? Or other niggas. Go places where, you know, and don't even look for motherfuckers. You want quality? Go to places where you find quality. Not these corner-ass fucking bars and these little fucking parts where people hang at, play music, and little immature shit. It's like, you be around a person that want to be the life of everything, you have nothing but chaos in your life. And I don't give a fuck how old they are, they immature. For you, you too big for them. Too big. Let that shit be. Alright? They stopping your growth. So, um... They're draining you from your success. Like all fire, your dreams must be intent to. You need intent to your dreams or the fire will be gone. It's going to go out. All right? Do not let your flames go out. For each time you do, it will become more challenge for you to light it up again. So if I was you, I would not allow nobody to take my growth and I'd say, fuck it. I, honey, I'm good. I, I, I'm not beat. If, if I want to fuck somebody, I'm going to find the right one to fuck. Okay? But I won't tell nobody anymore that how I feel about them or being there trying to be somebody with them. I'm going to have a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Because it ain't you. Whenever you see one person, you ain't you ain't doing nothing but causing a breakdown for your damn self. Keep a lot of friends. You, you can always have people to talk to and go out with. And whoever you want to fuck, fuck. Okay, but I'm going to tell you what, don't get all your eggs and work yourself into no one person that ain't worth your damn time. And you know who it is. You know who sucks the energy out of you. Who's a fucking liar, a cheater, and a user. That simple. You know who they are. Okay, let's go. Spirits, tell me more. And I'm telling you, you, you if you don't turn on that fire, if you don't like that fire... If you don't like this fire, you're going to let it burn out. And it's going to give you a challenge. You're going to fucking, it's going to bring down your money. It's going to bring down everything. And right now, I stay on fire. And I want to continue to be on fire. Because every time I get with somebody or whatever happens that I put all my time into somebody, it always, everything, I, when I tell you everything, Nothing grows. Nothing. The only thing that grows is them. My shit goes to the trash. Everything goes down. It don't go up. But you give your energy to other people so that they can grow off of your energy. It's like they pull. They suck your energy. They suck your money. They suck your life out of you till you can't breathe no more. And when things like that happen, God's telling you that is not worth your time. It's not for you. And so since you don't listen to God, God makes shit happen 
where you have to do what you don't want to do. Because it happens. Whether it's them leaving you. Oh, it's always what they're going to do to you. It's not what you're going to do to them. It's what they're going to do to you. Because God tells you, get rid of it before I make it go. Tell me more. Joy and delight. Open up your heart to joy. Open it up to the right people. They want the right things for you. Not somebody that don't want the right things for you. Open it up to something that's going to be real. Somebody that knows what they want. Not somebody that is afraid of being all about you. These people are not wanting to be in commitments. They want to have fun. They fuck you, fuck the next bitch and the next bitch. Okay? Believe me when I tell you they're liars. Okay? You ever see a person that is always with their phone, that goes to the back room with their phone, to the bathroom with their phone, their phone sits up? That's them. Okay? Always something. And whatever's going on and they with you, believe me, they will make up a story not to be with you. They'll make up an argument, whatever it is, so that they can attend to that event. You're not being seen with them nowhere. They don't want to show you off. They don't want to take you out. They don't want to show you nowhere because they're ready to pick up the next bitch where they be. And that's how they are. They're fishermen. Always fishing for the next best thing. Mystery healer. Healing energy flows through you. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. Go soak my ass in the beach today and get this energy off of me. I'm not playing any more games with nobody. You got one time to tell me how you feel. I don't argue no more. I know the door is there. And I've always been told. Always been told. The door is there. You can leave when you want. It's nothing stopping you. Thank you, Jesus, for telling me the door is there. Because guess what? I opened up the door nicely and I closed it nicely. It ain't no arguments with me. I give you what you want. I am the solution to your fucking problem. Okay? Because I grow, baby. You don't stop my growth. I grow. And you need to be the solution to your motherfucking problems. Whatever problems you got, that it ain't about your fucking money and your growth. And it's just sitting there juicing you till they can't juice you no more. And they fucking sucking your fucking energy, your soul, your spirit dry. They come to your house or they come visit you or wherever you go with them, you collect nothing but bad energy. That's what they got, energy. They sit there and they fucking drain you. It's like you're in a room where you can't even fucking see because it's all fucking smoke in the air. You know, they want to make sure that you don't see shit and that you believe what they're telling you. But your insides tell you what the fuck it is. If you no longer want to fuck somebody you've been with or you don't have the feeling to even hug this person or kiss this person, then that's telling you is something ain't right. The spirit always tells you what is right for you in your body. Do you understand? Okay, it says grinding. Go deep and explore your inner root. And that's what it's telling you. This card right here is representing your reading. It's saying be creative. Don't let nothing stop you from your growth. And somebody here is just trying and trying and trying to drain your energy. I feel like they already drain your energy. For It's like you can leave and come back and it's not, not. Honey, how long does the honeymoon stage last when you were people like this? It don't last no more than five months, something, probably three months before you're done. Okay. No more than three months, then it's a done deal with you and that person. That person, no matter how much you try to be with them, it's always like you're walking around in pins and needles and you're walking around on eggshells. You don't never know when people like this is going to explode or tell you they don't want you or start fighting with you or start all this bullshit just so they can get away. They start acting funny. They... 
they, you know, you see them being different. They, they real different and they acting real different with you. But they make it seem like there's something wrong with you. Actually, to me, you know what I call people like that? They like cartoons to me. They real funny. Okay? They act funny. They real different. And they cartoons. It's like you watching something on TV that is like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, you know, it's like when a baby watch cartoon and they laughing because that shit is funny. That's what this person is. Very different. And they come at you different. Right? And they got a way of being around you. Right? To start shit. And when it's good, it's good. But it, the good don't never last. It never lasts with this person. Ever. It's So, this is like somebody that's somebody that likes to be a player or somebody that likes to see more than one person or they go back from you to someone else from you to someone else from you to someone else. at any given time they can fucking act funny with you or act funny with somebody else but they always acting funny with somebody then they try to act like you are a problem but you're not a problem trust me when i tell you that's because the next step is coming okay the new motherfucker is coming in and that's how they are. That's they real different than people you ever met. They they real shisty and sneaky. All right, like you you always trying to like what did they just say? And what the, it's like the things that they do and say. You just keep your mouth shut and listen to them because they try to make you look like the person that has a problem when you don't. Okay, so you got to stop arguing with people like that and delete and dismiss them. It's nothing there. It's what more are you going to, you can't make somebody love you. You can't make them stay. Let it go. It's, it's more things out here for you than you putting your eggs all into one person that don't even know what the fuck is going on. Okay, and it's like they blame you for their happiness. Oh, I can't do this because of you. Or oh, I'm doing too much with you. Get the fuck out of here and go. Go because you stopping my damn flow. What you think? That your flow is the only one to stop? Baby, please. Your flow ain't the only one to stop. You stop my flow. You know, it's like before they came in, you was doing you shit. And then they come in your life and you stop doing shit for them. No, honey. And people wonder, like, why ain't you doing this? Or why were you doing this? Explain to people why. Because you're back in somebody's life that doesn't even give a fuck about you. They want to stop. They want to fuck you. They want to play with you. Play mind games. Use and abuse you. But tell you to your face that it ain't shit between you and them. These motherfuckers got a lot, lot of shit with them. And if I was you, I'd throw holy water on the motherfuckers. Throw it on their asses. Pray on their asses. Fucking light show. Fucking sage on their asses. Burn their asses. Write notes and, I mean, burn their name, honey. Because, you know, let me tell you something. When shit don't go, go, it's not right in my life, I make sure I stay writing God's letter. Yes, remove the energy away from me. Remove it. Let them find somebody that makes them happy. Let them get on the next motherfucker's nerve. But remove it from me. Remove anything that is not for me. Please allow me to see they fucking sneaky, conniving, cheating ass motherfuckers. And they ain't cheating because they ain't your fucking man. They told you they ain't your man. So they can't be cheating on your ass because they're not yours. And they will never be anything to you. Okay? So, in the name of Jesus, remove that energy from us. Remove it. Because it's not good. That energy is very, very evil. And shit, look at it real good. Look at who you fucking with. For real, look at their eyes. Look real good. Alright? Their eyes tell you everything about them. Alright? Tell me more. It's time to open up your eyes. Look at you. Didn't I just say that? You see everything for what it is. The highest priestess is you. You know that you need to let it go and let it be. It's like you looking at something. You know what it is. You know it's the truth. They can't hide shit from you. You are the bomb. You, you master the game. 
and they try to act like you you looking for something and whatever it is that you're looking for you're getting ready to find something that you want to know something is coming to the light okay and you you sit there something is pulling at you to get your attention to tell you that something is not right there okay look justice will be served you ain't got to worry about it justice will be served okay they will be served okay the six of wands and things is going to move on you're going to be happy and there's somebody in this crowd that watches you but you got a lot of angels that are watching you don't keep looking at the past you already know that how this person is you already know why look into something that is not even worth your damn fucking time okay with the highest priest you have the answers you seek and by following the truth, you will find them. You looking for something you seeking, and you're gonna see everything for what it is. Everything that your gut is telling you about a situation, it is the fucking truth. And don't let nobody make you believe that it's not. It's the truth. What you seeking, you're gonna find. And trust me, Pisces, you they, you know something. You're keeping something to yourself about this person or the situation. And it is the truth. Nothing is a lie, okay? And that's what it is. You need to really, really stay silent and everything will be revealed to you. All right? Trust in your intuition. Know that everything is there, your wisdom, and you're going to be coming to a full recovery. You're going to, it's something here, hidden knowledge, okay? Secrets, all right? Somebody is being very secretive, hiding shit, okay? Um... Something is going to come to light. Dreams, powerful vision, psychic. Okay, it's something here that you need to see. The highest priest is sitting there. I mean, she see everything. Okay, she's drawn now. It's illuminating. Something is going to be illuminating to you beyond the veil. Okay, and you're going to see something for what it is. Okay, for what you know it is. You're going to see it. You're going to see it, honey. Whether you see it in your dreams, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to know, it's going to resurface. Pay attention to everything around you. That nut, that feeling of um, being off track is something here that is telling you that you need to sit down and look at this, okay? And it's going to take you. You're going to feel like you're moving into a new direction at this time. And you need to move on because whatever it is that you want to find out, you get ready to find out. And justice will be served, honey. Okay? Justice will be served. Everything will come to balance. All right? You're going to see it. But everything that somebody's done to you is going to come out in the light. They can't hide it. All right? You're dealing with a liar. You're dealing with somebody like a con artist. A con I can't even say it right. But a con artist, somebody that's manipulated, somebody that hides the truth, somebody that always wants you to believe what they're saying. But it's only how they treat you is a reflection of how they see themselves. And you need to see that. It's going to be an enlightenment here for you to see and for you to understand that people here don't come honestly. They come with seeing things for you, but don't want the best for you. But here you come into the six of swords. I mean the six of wands. I mean, look at you. Once you get the, your balance right, once justice is served, okay, once everything is going to be done right for you, then you're going to see yourself moving in a direction that you need to be, okay? Something here needs to be, it, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but something here is going to come out to the truth. And I don't know if whatever it is that whoever it is that you're dealing with, it, it, everything is getting ready to be revealed about a person or a thing, okay? Natural leader, balance, karma. It's like karma is going to be there. The truth is going to be there. Wisdom is going to be there. A legal matter, fairness caused by um, efforts, integrity, okay? So it's something here to justice ask you to learn from your past experience the good thing the good and the bad um is going to be there 
Take it all and grow from it. So take what you know that you're getting ready to find out. Okay? Whatever it is that you want to know, you get ready to find out about it. So when you find out, it's there. They can't hide it. You're going to see it for what it is. Okay? Uh, but you're going to grow from this. It's going to be something that you're going to learn. This energy is not about being perfect or professional, but about fairness and honesty. So somebody needs to come out and be honest about a situation and see things in a fair way. To highlight, clarify the motive of your intentions and ask you to be realistic about the course of effort of your thoughts and your actions. So it's something here that it's going to be a reflection. It's telling you to be honest, be truthful, all right? Be fair with whatever is coming because justice is going to be served. It's karma, okay? What goes around comes around, okay? But you're going to grow from this, all right? And sometimes you got to do the shadow work and learn from the many different um, aspects or parts of you. This right here, this whole thing is teaching you about you, about what you don't want, about being honest, about being truthful, okay? And when you be like that, you speak the truth to people and you be honest about it, all right? Honest is the policy of life. To be truthful is the policy. To do things in the right way is the policy, all right? Because karma will come back and remind you of what it is, all right? But with the six of wands, honey, you really got your shit going on, okay? With everything, people are cheering you. Look at people's hands. Look at their hands, okay? Look at the love they're giving you. It's like whatever it is, whatever it is that you're showing or whatever it is that you're performing here, I don't know if you're a tarot card reader, whatever it is, you do Reiki, you on stage, you speak to people, whatever it is, you're being acknowledged for what you do. And it's like, whatever this person did or whatever it is, it brought you back, back to where you supposed to be. It's like, somebody can drain you, but then you come back to see everything for what it is because it's a Libra. It's balancing you. It's telling you, let's get back to balance, all right? Let's be fair. Let's be honest, right? And when things like that come around and you feel good, you start feeling good about yourself all over again. It's like you pick yourself off and you dust yourself off from what just happened. It's like the Twin Towers came down and then it's all this dust all around you, right? But you you just getting away from what it was that was blocking you that you couldn't see. And you bring honesty, integration to the table. It's like everything is fine. Everything will balance itself in your life. And everything will move you to be in a place in your life where you're going to be growing, okay? Where you're going to be successful. Where you're moving forward. Self-awareness, right? Where it's a challenge, where there's satisfaction, action, okay? It's like everything is being an accomplishment to you. And I, I feel you on this. I feel myself on this. Sometimes I give so much that, I mean, I wear myself off giving, all right? And I sometimes I feel like they don't even appreciate nothing about me. But I still give with an open heart and I stop and I try to be fair and see things in a fair way. And if they say they don't want to be bothered, then okay, then I learn to accept things for what it is. I don't dwell on shit anymore like I used to. I don't want to be with somebody that don't want to be with me. I don't care if it's family, whatever. If they don't want to be with me, then I know to let go. I know that it's not worth it, okay? I know that God has something better, okay? But at least I know that I'm moving forward. It's like you it's like you bring balance to people. It's like you know what you know, but the truth will set you free, okay? You see things, but it's got to be balanced. It's got to be justice, okay? It's got to be fair. Shit's got to be fair. It just can't be one person's way. Things need to be fair, and you're going to be happy with the outcome. You really are. Tell me more. And I love this reading so far. 
Okay, so the Knight of Wands, look at this. Look at this shit. Look at you. It's like, okay, now what? Now what they what they coming at, what they acting crazy for. Alright? But the seven of wands, look, look at this. You got a lot of wands that's telling you. You are sitting, it's like somebody's trying to, you know, what 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 do you want to bring to me? What is it that you want to start? Do you want problems? What is it? The not you got the six of, of wands and then you got the knight of wands and then the seven of wands. You are on fire. It's like you are making it to the top and people don't like it, okay? You you sit on top of your game, but they don't like it. You got some haters around you. You got people that don't want to see you successful. You got people that's trying to figure out how do you make this? It's it, the highest priest. Every everything about these two cards, the high, that's what the highest priest is saying. You already know what it is. You already know that you sit on top of the world. People are trying to hate on you. You know, like, or they stopping to see you, but they're not stopping in a good way. They stopping to talk shit about you. Okay? They want to be like you. They want to copy and paste what you do. They want to do things the way you do. Okay? But you are determined to free yourself, unbind yourself, be independent, clear purpose. Okay? You're like, shit, I don't need none of this shit. I can move on. Okay? You need to understand you are deserving of this success and you will be brave and shine your light into the world. Somebody sitting here like blooming. It's like you're growing. It's like you on fire and it's saying continue to be on fire. Don't let nobody stop you. Honey, what one monkey don't do, the next motherfucker will. One monkey don't stop the show. Keep going. Shit. You don't even know you're going to really meet somebody better than what you've been. Or you're going to come into this very successful place in your life. Okay, it says, successful outcome. Progress is on its way. You will be happy with the final solution. Didn't I say you are, if somebody want to make you their problem, you are the solution. Moving on and being happy. Standing strong and being rewarded. And that's what it's telling you. You got that shit right here. And you got that shit right here. The six of wands and you got the seven of wands. Living it up, okay? Living it up. A challenge, grinding, and protecting yourself. Movement and growing. A creativity, okay? Um, remember to move ahead. Feeling vulnerable. A sign to continue to share your ideas. Self-expression, okay? Haters will be there hating on you. They're emerging after you made it to your peak, okay? Um, they ask themselves how to, it's like you ask yourself, how can you protect your accomplishment? Okay, sometimes um, people want to compete against you. They want to take the shine off of your world. But um, it's like if you feel an attack after sharing your magic, it's important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do beautiful things. Be mindful to call the feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protection bubble of your energy around you. And I keep telling you, protect your energy. Um, Take soft bath. Light your incense. Burn your sage. Burn your Palo Santo. Um, put um, flower water on you. You need to protect your energy. Definitely use your oils. Okay? Protect your energy. You understand? That's why I stay with stuff like that on me. Because people are vicious. They haters. And they get mad when you make it to where they want to be. They trying to figure out how do you do this and how do you do that. So they, it's like copywriting your ass. Okay? The five of swords, okay, somebody want to win by all costs. So you go to court, justice will be served for somebody here that wants to win at all costs, okay? Justice will be served. I don't know who they think they playing with, but they fucking with the wrong motherfucker. They can't fuck with you, Pisces. Justice will be served on their asses, okay? Is somebody here... The lessons will move you on ahead always. An opportunity to clear the air. This is a time to meet on different um, op, um, approach or um, 
um, maybe how they think and how you see things, okay? A time to settle disagreement. Somebody want to come apologize. Somebody want to talk to you. Somebody want to balance shit off with you, okay? Is somebody here that, that is thinking about, they kind of trying to um, balance the scales what they want, okay, in their life. Disruption, a challenge, an unexpected situation, a change of plans, bad timing, okay? Um, uh, it's like somebody wants to start problems, unfair advice. Somebody's not giving good advice. Somebody's trying to throw you off, okay? Um, an unexpected loss, the need to build your skills and be confident, okay? Um, you need to... Don't don't feel like you made it and then you you're not deserving of this. You are deserving. But if somebody here you may be expecting an unexpected loss that has left you a little bit sore. Maybe that's what you did. You expected this. Somebody look like they want to argue and carry on. Sometimes it isn't just fair, right? Does somebody want to fight with you and make you and make you feel belittled? Something left um something isn't fair. Um, but it's draining your energy, but you need to move on from this, okay? You need to move on from this because all it's doing is draining you. Somebody here is just fighting and carrying on. they just trying to just drain your ass, but this is just moving you forward to be the best that you can be. They're not draining you. They're making you look at things in a different way. You're making it to where you want to be, but this person don't like seeing you there. You got the justice card twice. I don't know. It's um somebody here don't want you to be successful. They say they happy for you, but they're not. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a Libra air sign or whatever. They don't want Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's not happy for you. They act like they happy. They they feel like you're on a spotlight. They feel like you are um, like it's like they're not happy for you at all. They feel like you shine your light on the world and they, they think that you think you're better than them. Or they, um, you know, it's like something they hate about you. And they try to act like they like you, but they don't. And so you need to be careful with this person because you see, it's a cat fight. Maybe you're taking the smile to court, you know. Um, but it's something here that needs to be final. But you're seeing shit with an open eye. You ain't stupid. All right? You're seeing this person... Exactly for who they are, okay? This person, don't, they're not happy for you. Shit, they not, oh, well, I'm happy that you're doing this, and I'm happy that's that. And in the background, they, like, hate you. They they mad that they can't be where you at. They mad that you work from home, and they got to go to work. They mad because they spend too much time at work, and you, they don't know what you do. But in their mind, they feel like you're bigger than them, and you're not. If anything, you striving for what you have. They have no idea how fucking fucked up your life is. But that for some reason, they think that your life is peaches and cream. And this person is, is really bad. This person don't want nothing for you. They want to tear you down. They want to talk about you. They want to spread rumors about you. They don't. They feel like you should make it. Like it, They like jealous and envy of you. They don't. They're not happy. It's like... I don't know if you're taking somebody to court, but whatever it is, somebody's not happy for you. They watch you. They see that you're happy. They see that other people love you, but they make you feel like it ain't no love there for you, and they're lying. There's a lot of love. Okay? Tell me more. You're going to be moving away to calmer waters from this situation. You, you, you're going to be moving away from people that are not serving you and don't want the best for you. You're going through a transformation that everybody ain't supposed to go with you or be with you. Okay? Okay, then you're going to find people here that are going to want to work with you. You're going to find people that are going to um, be happy for you. Okay? Do the same things you want. A reunion, a celebration, a party. You might be going to calmer waters. You might be taking a trip on water or on a boat where you're gonna meet people that or you're gonna have you're gonna go with people that are gonna want the best for you. A celebration, a reunion, a party, a realization, a gathering, 
a, a lot of fair. I see a lot of gathering for you. I see happiness, weddings, engagement, parties, graduation, baby showers. I'm um, happy time. You you you're moving to a place in your life where it's going to be nothing but happiness. Things happening to you. I won't be surprised if you meet somebody that you're going to marry or you with somebody that you ain't even got to do so much work to be with them. Everything comes naturally. Maybe that person is taking you on a cruise. Maybe that person is taking you on a boat ride. Maybe that person is taking you to celebration where the person that you was with don't go do nothing with you. It's like they don't even want to be seen with you. But whoever you get ready to meet, honey, that person is going to show you off. It's like that person is claiming you. It's different from where you've been to where you're going. Where you've been up is somebody about them hating on you, hating on everything about you. They can go to bed with you. It's like you sleeping with a fucking enemy and you don't even realize it, how much hate they have for you. They don't have no love for you. It's like they use you. They can use you for anything, okay? But they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. They breadcrumb you. You're lucky if you get whatever. You don't go to no nice restaurants. They're not going to show you off and take you to nice places. They take you to Burger King, McDonald's, corner stores, shit like that. You know, they, it, it's not nothing. It's not no money coming out of them. You know, if they do something, whatever you're going to get out of the deal is something that is for them, not for you. But the person that you're moving on from this is going to take you to calmer waters and you're going to be seen and loved. And that person is going to really love you. It's not like the person you with or you was with. This person is different than that person. Totally different. Okay, tell me more. All right. This person sees you like a queen, like a boss bitch, like you confident, like you got shit going on, like you help people, like you, you're loyal to them. You're going to be with somebody that's going to love you because they value you. They value how you are. They love you. You're going to come into a whole nother different vibration with this new person after leaving somebody that has judged you, that's probably taking you to court, that's probably treating you like shit, this person, you got two justice cards, justice will be served, the truth will come out, okay, they will pay for what they did to you, believe in me, it won't go unnoticed, but you got so much good things coming for you, and I won't be surprised, and I claim this reading, because Lord knows, I would love to be with somebody just like me, that is cool, laid back, conservative, you know, that we can do things together without them feeling like they're missing out on the street life or the friend life. I never see nobody that, I never see no grown ass man that rather be out in the street doing their friends and not doing a bitch. Or maybe doing too many bitches, but they ain't doing you. They doing everybody but you. Okay, and they trying to be sneaky about it. Let that shit go. You got some good shit coming on to you. And you got somebody that's going to take you on cruises. You got somebody that want to live their life for you. And, yes, all for you. They, they want to make you happy. Like, they've been waiting for you to come to their life. This motherfucker's got everything going on. It's got the shit that you want, that you need. God replaces motherfuckers with good shit, not bullshit. Okay, if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.